With classical computers, even the most powerful ones, you can only really tell them one thing at a time. But with quantum computers, you can tell them more than one thing and they can do more than one calculation at the same time, simply because of the technical elements of quantum computers. And because of this, they're really good at dealing with really big, really complex data sets and dealing with really complicated algorithms. So when things get quantum level small, physics starts to get a bit strange. Classical computers have things inside them called bits, which are used to encode the whole computer. That's your laptop, your mobile phone, your smart fridge. And those bits can be either zero or one. But in quantum computers, it can be a superposition. It can be both zero and one at the same time. So if you think of classical bits like a light switch, and then quantum computers are a dimmer switch. They can be sort of on and sort of off. And that's how quantum computers work. And that's why they can do more than one calculation at the same time, deal with lots of different information at the same time because they're partway between that zero and that one. Look, quantum computing is right at its beginning right now. It's a swiftly developing field with pretty limited current applications, but the potential applications of it are really interesting, and quantum computing has the potential to be one of the true new technology revenue streams in the coming decades. Look, we don't expect quantum computers to re be replacing your home computer in the next couple of decades, but we are gonna start to see them use the same roles as supercomputers. And anything that's really computationally heavy could benefit from the use of a quantum computer. So we're talking about tracking autonomous vehicles, dealing with large sets of genomic data, census data has a potential to be really useful in the context of quantum computers. Already we're starting to see that Volkswagen have said that they want to use quantum computing techniques to work with traffic prediction in autonomous cars. And Biogen have developed a way of doing drug discovery that leverages quantum computing technology. Quantum computing is an exciting new horizon in technology with lots of potential applications. So you should keep an eye on quantum computing either because it could have applications to do with your business and your work or simply because it's really cool.